This is about minors, children and adolescents who, who have a problem, and it may well not be gender dysphoria. We've learnt that. Um, we, we, we really have to get to the bottom of how we are treating minors with permanently disfiguring uh, medical, pharmaceutical and even surgical applications. How can children or even ado young adults fully grasp the long-term implications of their choices? What is at issue here is life-changing and irreversible decisions about lifelong sexual function, experience and fertility. In fact, nobody can grasp the implications because the consequences simply are not known. There is insufficient evidence for any long-term study on the safety of the social, pharmaceutical and surgical interventions promoted. It is legally questionable, medically irresponsible and morally repugnant to reduce the influence of parents and medical professionals in this process and to accept the inadequate consent of children.